It's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about Parler and giving you a one-on-one -on -one guide on everything you need to know about this fairly new free speech social media app. Now I say fairly new because Parler didn't just come out. It came out in 2008. The whole idea was to give people the ability to have free speech on social media. We all recognize that when you're on Twitter and when you're on Facebook, that sometimes your posts are censored as far as that you really can't say whatever you want on the social media platform. But Parler promises to allow you to say what you want on social media to a point. And we'll get to that in a minute. So first things first, how do you pronounce it? Is it Parlay? Is it Parler? It's officially started out as Parlay, but as people didn't recognize that parlor was a French word for parlay, they began to start using the word to parlor. Now, when you interact within the app and send messages back and forth, then that is known as parlay. So the other things that you need to know about parlor is that it is a social media app that's meant to take the place of Twitter. So if you go into Parler, you'll notice that many of the features act like Twitter. Now, if you are on the wagon of you want to get away from the big tech social media apps and programs, then if you're looking for a Facebook alternative, we'll talk about this in another tech tip. You can check out WeMe, which allows you to interact online in an environment that's more along the lines of Facebook. But back to Parler, setup is pretty simple, but once you're inside the app, there are some things that you need to know to help you navigate um, within the app. So with that said, I think we'll try to take a look at the, not the desktop, but the app version. So I'm gonna grab my smartphone and I'm gonna attempt to screen share my smartphone with my computer so that you can kind of get an idea how the app works and then we'll move on to the desktop version so give me a second here we'll get into parlor for your smartphone and let's take a look there we go so there is parlor for well this is for ios but keep in mind my phone is live, so if alerts pop up, don't mind me. But anyway, you can go into um, Parler like you would Facebook, or not Facebook, but Twitter. And then, as you can see, you can go and modify your profile. You can edit your settings and uh, privacy. You can add multiple accounts. You can even verify accounts. And then you can even log out. But going in, oh, let me go to one more thing. As you can see, you can also add your profile picture and your banner that you have on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and you set it up just like you would your, your Twitter or Facebook account. The other thing too, you can also use QR codes with your smartphone in order to quickly find a QR code or someone's parlor account. Now, just looking at your main feed, and this is easier shown on your desktop, you can scroll through Parler just like you would on your Twitter account or on your Facebook account. As you can see, there are people that you can look at, and then there's also people known as influencers that you may see more of their posts. So this kind of gives you an idea what the feed looks like. But overall, it has a general feel of a normal social media account. Now let's switch to the desktop version of Parler. And as you can see, you just go to parlor.com and then your profile, and then you've got your layout there. Now let's talk about the free speech part about Parler before we get more into how the actual program works on your desktop and on your laptop. Now again, Parler uh, recognizes free speech and allows you to free speech to a point. There are certain things that you can't do on Parler. For example, you cannot cyberbully on Parler. You cannot dox on Parler. 
So there is a monitoring system within the social media platform to make sure that nothing really gets out of hand. Obviously, no child pornography or any malicious things can be posted on Parler. So if that is what you're planning to do on the free speech app of Parler, it ain't going to happen because they do have monitors. And if it's really bad, they're going to take it down. So keep that in mind when you go to Parler. Now, going back to the desktop and looking at how the program works, one last thing I was going to mention, too, is that, again, it's self-governed. So, for the most part, if you are having issues online, you may not get help or response like you would with, say, Facebook or Twitter. But anyway, as you can see on the desktop, I've got my banner up there on Parler. Um, you have different options like you've got a menu bar in the upper left hand corner where my mouse is to look at your profile but you also have if we close this down your menu here where you can get into options so for example and a good way to get acclimated with it is knowing that the icons that you see on the desktop version of parlor are also going to be shown on the app version of parlor as well so you've got your home screen which if you click on it takes you to your Parlor home. Now the screen that I was looking at, we're going to skip, is your profile screen. And this kind of gives you an idea of some of the stuff that you can see and of course people to follow as well. But home screen takes you back to your main Parlor feed. If you click on the bell, that's alerts and it'll tell you if you are notifications, same thing, and you can look for notifications to see what activity has happened on your Parlor account meaning people following you and people tagging you in posts, which you can do in Parler like you can on Twitter, uh, this is your Discover. So if you're just looking for general information or people to follow on Parler, you can go to not notifications. So on Parler, you can see your parlays, meaning information that's being shared on the social media account. And if we scroll back up, you can look at parlays from affiliates. So these are companies that are posting on Parlay and you can break it down by users too as far as notifications and then you can click here to follow specific people on Parlay. Now the good thing about Parlay just like you can on Twitter and Facebook is that you can send message privately and what social media account doesn't allow you to send private messages? All of them do. <laughs> You can search in your contacts like you would on any social media platform and then you can find someone to send a private message to. And then finally, most important is your profile section, which allows you to look at your profile in general. Now, if you want to modify your profile, you would have to go to the menu in the left hand corner and then go to pro settings and privacy. I don't know why I goofed that up, but anyway, under settings and privacy, you can make your account a private account or a public account. Uh, you can turn on email notifications and you can also disable private messages. That's in those instances that you're being harassed. Uh, you can update your password for your computer. You can set up multi authentication setup with QR codes. And also there's a notification setting too, where you can turn off notifications within the social media app. Now, if you want to modify your profile, you can do that when you set up Parler, and hopefully you have, but if you haven't set those up, you can easily go into settings to make sure that your profile is set up the way that you want to. Uh, that means adding your photo, adding your banner, and I will have to say, as far as Parler is concerned, the profile picture and the banner match up with any social media platform out there. So if you want to use a consistent banner and headshot photo, which I recommend, you can do that by just copying, copying your images from either Twitter, Facebook, or even Instagram to make sure that you got the correct specifications as far as updating a banner. Now back to the desktop, you can even describe yourself, you can modify your name, your display name. You can also change your username, which when you set up Parler, it goes based on 
what your username goes based on which email account you set up. So if you set up with, say, a Gmail account, whatever that account name is, that will be your initial username for Parler. But once you're established within the social media platform, then you can go in and change whatever you want to. And for describe yourself, you can only do it in 200 characters. So keep that in mind when you're writing your description out. One of the things that we're going to mention real quick is that Parler requires, relies heavily on hashtags, almost like it's stepsister Twitter. <laughs> so it's important that if you want people to find you on Parler, that you use the appropriate hashtags in your description to get more people to find you. Now, I didn't do it on my parlor. Let's get this desktop up here. But uh, that doesn't mean that, <clears throat> that it doesn't stop you from doing it. Another thing you can do with parlor is you can change your theme. You can change your color scheme. If I hit red or whatever color that is, it'll change it. And as you can see, it'll change the color. But I like cool colors. So I'm going to hit blue and it'll change it back to blue. And keep in mind, everything that I'm doing on the desktop side of Parler, you can do on the app side of Parler as well. Keep that in mind. But also remember, if you change it on one platform, meaning if you change it on your desktop, then it's also going to reflect in your app too. So it's not like you have to go into multiple places in order to make that happen. You can also change your language. Uh, obviously it's on English. And then there's all the legal stuff as far as privacy policy, community guidelines, and the option to delete your account. Um, batch selection is not important, so I'm not really going to cover that now. Now, the good thing about Parler, like all social media networks, is that you can post emojis, you can post video, you can post photos, you can use hashtags. So once you get your, your account set up in Parler, you can use it just like any other social media account out there. It's just knowing what the icons look like in order for you to help navigate easier through the app. Now, just to kind of give you a sample of what you can post, you can say, hey, everyone, like I always do when I'm doing a new tech tip video, um, you, can, you have a limit of about a thousand characters, which is a lot more than what Twitter gives you, which then that's kind of a good thing. Um, but as far as how you do your post, you have the options of doing emojis. So you've got different uh, types of emojis. And as you can see with the emojis in Parler, there are quite a bit of them. So have fun with it. Also, let's get out of the emoji section. Um, you can also do GIFs and that is the proper spelling of GIFs, not GIFs, GIFs, but you can search like you would on Twitter and on Facebook, and then you can insert GIFs or GIFs within your parlor post. And even though it doesn't show it, you can do both videos and pictures within parlor. So keep that in mind when you're using the app. Photos or videos take a while to upload. The actual images should do pretty quickly. So if we were to click on the picture icon, it doesn't really let you know, but there are some past tech tip videos, as you can see, that I can upload to Parlor. But also I can go to my desktop. There's a ton of headshot photos I can upload. So any photo or any video I can upload to a post. And then also to hashtags are abundant. So you can put a hashtag for happy, you can put a hashtag for anything, and it will allow you to put those on Parler. And as you can see, there are some other suggested hashtags that you can put in your post and they'll go as well. Now, under normal circumstances, as far as people you can connect with, you can do a search for Parler to find people. So let's do a search and find people like you would on any other social media platform or you can do the suggested people which are influencers that you can select suggest and follow on parlor now just like you would on any social media account if you click on a person's profile 
Like in Twitter, you can click on follow. You can send a private message. You can see how many followers they have, see how many people they're following. So it's not that much of a instance or, or transition as far as moving away from Facebook or Twitter and getting acquainted with Parler. It's a pretty easy to use interface within the app and within the website of Parler to get acquainted. So it should not be that hard of a transition. So if you're moving away, keep in mind these things. If you're moving away from Twitter or from Facebook, keep in mind these things. Number one, like I said, it's free speech, sort of, kind of. So you can't just say whatever you want. It's, it's kind of like freedom of speech in the U.S. You can't yell fire in a crowded theater. Not a good thing to do. Other than that, you're going to have to work as far as getting your friends to move over to Parlor, because half the people out there don't even know what the app is. But keep that in mind. Also, when you're signing up, you may experience some glitches within the Parlor software and app because people are moving away from Twitter and Facebook to go to Parlor. So be patient if you're not able to sign up for your account may take a while because the servers are getting overloaded. Same thing with download. Well, you can download the app, but same thing as far as interacting on Parler. I've noticed sometimes the desktop version of Parler runs slower than the, than the app version. So keep that in mind and be patient. And finally, it's been billed as the right wing conservative social media, but there are some liberal people that are on Parler. Just normal people that want to get away from Facebook. People that are getting connected with Parler just because it's another social media platform. So it's personal business use, you name it. But for right now, after this election, you may see more right wing stuff on Parler. So just keep that in mind. So with that said, if you have comments or questions about Parler, Leave them in the comments section below. would love to hear from you to find out what information you would like to see about Parler and how to use the app. And if you're looking for yours truly, I can bring my profile up. You can follow me at Burton Kelso at Parler or any other social media account out there because I'm on all of them. And I would remiss, be remiss if I didn't do the following. I hate to beg, but be sure to subscribe. I always get the fingers wrong on that. There you go. Be sure to subscribe and like to either myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert, or my company, Integral, on both YouTube and all our social media accounts. You'll find tech tips and advice for you to help get more out of the technology you use at home and at work. So I love technology. I've read the manuals, and I'm serious about making technology fun and easy to use for everyone. Take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.